Hey there, how's it going? So if you haven't been following this series, I've been putting together an army of alien hives from uh, One Page Rules. And once I hit 500 subs, I put out a poll to let my subscribers vote on which color scheme to go with for this army. And the winning color scheme was a Starship Troopers color scheme by uh, Hernandez048. Thank you for that. <laughs> I am actually a pretty big fan of Starship Troopers. I've seen uh, pretty much all the movies, and I used to watch this show, uh, Roughnecks. I used to watch that in the morning before I went to school. School? You going to school? Ah! So there's definitely a pretty big difference between how the Starship Troopers bugs look compared to the uh, Alien Hives models. And because of that, it was kind of tricky to translate the color scheme, but I did my best. This video is mostly about how I came up with the uh, color scheme templates I primed these models ahead of time, which uh, in, in hindsight probably wasn't that great of an idea because I didn't even know what color scheme I was going to go with yet. But um, yeah, I did it anyway. So I just kind of had to work with it. I wanted to try painting with inks because I haven't really done that too much. Outside of using washes and glazes, I haven't really uh, used inks a whole lot. So uh, a couple things to keep in mind here. First is that most of the models I'm painting here were my very first 3D prints. And while I think they came out really well, there are a few minor defects. Some of them are more obvious than others, but um, yeah, I don't always clean them up and make them look perfect. And also, like I said, I kind of regret using a spray paint primer. Um, it, it ended up looking really blotchy. I didn't really do that great of a job priming them. I tried to make it work. I tried to make it uh, look stylistic, but it, uh, it wasn't really working out in the end and I had to just paint over everything. So a lot of that tone was pretty much wasted. The first thing I did was start layering on game inks. I used a yellow and a red. In a couple spots, I blended them together to get an orange. I started pretty light, um, mixing the inks with a matte medium, but I eventually ended up just putting straight ink on these to get a nice vibrant color. At this point, they were looking very Metroid-esque, and not at all like the Starship Troopers bugs, and I really wasn't happy with them at all. And I knew I was gonna have to do a lot of trial and error to figure out how to make this color scheme look good. So at this point, I decided to stop filming until I got my color scheme nailed down a little better. So I started looking at the reference pictures of the uh, warrior bugs and some of the other bugs in the uh, Starship Troopers universe. Because uh, there's, there's not just warrior bugs, they're just kind of like the main ones, I guess. But uh, the warrior bugs are kind of what I based the color scheme off of mostly. With the red and the yellow, the warrior bugs kind of have this striped pattern going down their legs. And I was really having a hard time making that work with the bipedal models. So I decided to give up on that striped idea for at least those. But the warriors also have this red spot that's on the top of their head. And I was able to keep that feature. Uh, so pretty much all these models have a red spot on the top of their heads. I painted most of the fleshy areas with a crusted sore color and most of the armor I painted black. On top of that I did a light dry brushing of gunmetal to uh, brighten up the edges and make them look a little glossy and metallic. Then I dry brushed a skeleton bone on top of that to dull it down a little bit. For the weapons and around the bases I used an Averland Sunset and then I mixed some white with that to make a lighter color to do some edge highlighting. For the gun, I ended up using a crusted sore with a combination of gunmetal with a few yellow highlights. I painted up an assault grunt and a shooter grunt, and I decided to flip the color scheme with those, using black for the fleshy bits and red for the armor. And I painted the uh, shooter's glands yellow. I also decided to paint the base edge black for the assault grunt because they look so similar, and I think at a glance that's really going to help to uh, differentiate between the two. The Shadow Hunter and the Burrower both have very pointy arms, kind of like the uh, Warrior's legs, so I decided to keep the uh, striped pattern with those. These are the only two models I thought that pattern really made sense to use on. Also, yeah, the base is kind of warped on this one. Um, I didn't notice it until it was too late, and I don't feel like rebasing it, so it's just going to stay like that. For the Psycho Rex, I thought it would make sense to use a Brain Bug as reference. Brain bugs, frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. The brain bug kind of looks like this big blob of organs. Uh, I'm not going to say which ones, but uh, it's got a lot of fleshy, meaty colors. And I kind of used that as a reference when I was painting the Psycho Rex, because he has this big exposed brain. 
There's not really much more to say for the spawning beast. The only unique thing about this one is that I used a gloss varnish on the uh, egg sacs on its back to give them a glossy sheen. So that's everything I have painted so far. Hopefully my pro bug video hasn't offended you. The only good bug is a dead bug. I do have a few other ideas that I'm floating around. If you look at some of the other bugs in the Starship Troopers universe, uh, you'll notice some other color schemes that are kind of consistent. For example, there's this like prismatic green that uh, you'll see on like the hoppers and even some of like the larger bugs, like the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the big one that like sprays flames. He's kind of like a big flamethrower. So I want to try incorporating some prismatic greens at some point, uh, mainly in the uh, flying models and some of the larger tanky models. But beyond that, I think I pretty much have the paint scheme figured out. So I should be able to paint the rest of the army a little bit faster. Young people all across the globe are subscribing to Haunts Wargaming. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> They're doing their part. Are you?